creating. Okay, okay. now you can. Okay. All right. Call to order. Verification and meeting notice. Posted on the web, right? Yeah. Approval of the agenda. I'll make that motion. I guess I'll second it. All in favor say aye. Aye. Discussion of bills and balances. So, I guess the first one I have, Steve, and then chime in if you have any in between or 51093, um, rear tire install, and then paint and damage. Is that is that the little accident that we heard about? Yep. Okay. Something. Yeah, but the but it's a different bus number for the retire install. Oh, the tires were just new tires. New okay. Tires on, on on bus. Okay. All right. That was Arneson's? Yes. So that's all I'm I need. Okay. 136688. My number lock is off. 13, what? 6688. 6, 6, 6, 6, 8. Okay, got it. Was for that, or just for that tire. Right. Yeah. And then the paint and damage was. Nope. Yeah, the whole thing was. $3,394.76. I'm assuming that was probably four tires, huh? If they yep. Under, yep. Two on each side. Okay, so yeah, that's, that's, that's good to know. 400 know. bucks a tire, so which is. Yeah, not too shabby. So, and then the next one I had down, then I know got canceled out, and now I know why. The 51100 for the flooring in the old kitchen in the community Came gym. Later, right? And it, it was, the check was made out to where it's plumbing and heating instead of, but then the next one was made out to Wirtz Floor and Home. Yeah. So we don't need to even talk about that one because that was voided. Um, I had one just before that. Okay. 51092 um, games trifecta grant. What's a trifecta grant? Um, I fight for a grant and it, uh, it's sponsored by WASDA and the Green Bay Packers, I think. Yes, I believe so. And so they just gifted us the money and we were going to do games nights, but with COVID we couldn't do it. But they just gave us the money so that we already spent some of it on the games. So who was the vendor? Uh, I'm sorry. Amazon Capital Services. Okay. I think it's always good to let people know that we're getting grants. And, How much? Um, that was eight something. Eight sixty four forty was the looks yeah, like what was spent on the games. Okay. Yep. So. And then just you know a note probably for the board was the 51105 Johnson and Block, yep. another yep. 2950 towards our audit. Then the next one that I had was 51109. And again, I think this is just yep. information for the board. It was the Colbens, the bus route during the COVID check, six days, it was $1,710. Well, there's, I mean, no, no question about it. 1710, 1710. And I heard that that was very inexpensive from several districts. Yes, yeah, I mean, it's, it is what it is, but right. it showed what we did to right. keep going. Yeah, I think that that's kind of why I, I put it out there. And then the other one, the next one that I had, which I'm sure was a budget, was 51126, was toward brought for a French horn, 2575. Is that a new horn or a repurpose? It's a new, uh, I think they're new when they buy Okay. Them, yeah. You got any in between there, Steve? No. Okay. Then the next one I had was the one then for. 51139 then was to Wirtz Floor and Home, and that was for the flooring in the kitchen. Have you been down there? No. no. We're going on Wednesday. Yeah, they, uh, <laughs> does it look nice? A little oh, tour. very nice down there. Oh, my gosh. People would probably jump out of their skin. <laughs> okay. It was, it, it was great, man. And the words one was five one one three nine. The amount. 
$1,321.50. And then the and next. Would, we should note that that was to cover asbestos. Oh, yeah. cover asbestos. Just not that we just did it because we it yeah. needed to be redone, but we, needed to we were killing two birds with one stone. Yeah. yeah. And we did, they did yeah. some other things. They patched the ceiling, yeah. they bought some wallboard and filled in the holes. Just put an asbestos project. If somebody questions, then we had, we encapsulated it. There yep. you go. That's exactly what we did. Yep. <laughs> but I think that's important. I mean, to me, that's a great project. You know, we, we, we did it, it badly needed it, period. And plus, then we got, that's the last that we know of, right? Yep. Yeah. That's a hard one for me yeah. to say. Did Why am I having it? And no, and. Asbestos. 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 You just okay. point to me and I'll get it. We're doing that. Asbestos. <laughs> Asbestos. Asbestos. Okay. Then the next one I had was 51140 access security. I presume it's uh, $1,032. Did we recode something or? It says. Mo Central Monetary, Berg, and Fire. So is that for computer or? I couldn't get my computer. Yeah, it's the Central Station Monitoring. Berg? Yeah, Berg. the Central Station was what kind of threw me. So is that in January here? January through December. Oh, so it's annual. monthly. It's the annual building. Monthly fees. But for what are what are we securing? The fire alarm. Oh, and fire alarm. And okay. the building yeah. security. Okay. I'm assuming they probably have to they have it inspected every so often just to make sure for the public building. I will tell you that our door sensors are going off. <laughs> yeah. And we're gonna do we need some upgrades to the fire. And we can't tell unless we run back and see it happening. Sure. So by the time you get there, it's already reset itself. Sure. So anyway, that'll come up really big early. And then the next one I have, and again, it isn't anything you have to look up, but just so that we know that it's the rest of the board knows it's been paid and taken care of is the 51148 to Badgerland for the HR office carpet for $777. That is what we did approve. Do you have any nope. in between no, for that? Okay, so then the next one again, just for the board's knowledge, 51151 to Boardman and Clark, our legal um, for $2,203 and fifty cents. And so do we know, can you give me the time period? 2,300. $2,203 and fifty cents. So it's from May. 13th through October 30th. Yeah, so but that's it was that's some not bad. I remember with the no the year a before previous superintendent it was monthly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's good to know. I mean, yeah. And we did have some other bills from Boardman and Clark, but they billed us and we paid it. So the, all the Title IX stuff was looked at, all the policies and everything. Okay. But that was a different bill. Okay. That was a couple months ago. I was going to say, I think that, yeah. So 51152 um, to CDI Dallas LLC, the 35 acre Chromebooks that we approved at the last meeting, $11,725. So I presume they're here. Yes, our Chromebooks are here. Out of the grant money then too, right? Or was that left over from the- That would be COVID. So yeah, we have COVID money and we have- um, Money from the- Money from the- Upper 90. Yep. Yeah. 11, how much was it? $11,725. Yeah.
So then the next one I had um, 51153 uh, to CDW government access points and three year cloud. So I presume that's with our that's the licensing for licensing. Okay. Oh, yeah. And so we have been buy, we did buy a few more access points because some of the ones in the new wing are wearing out. $3,739.40. And uh, I had a question on the next one. Uh, 51154, drive through arc with shake rag alley. That was for Blanca. What? Is it just a, like a thing for the gifted and talented? I or? Think Gifted and talented, or I would say, with Shake Rag Alley. Well, that well, that, what threw me was drive through art, and then it wasn't art. Art, you know, it was. So I was wondering if it was. A, I don't know. I don't recognize that one. It was a virtual. Event conference or event attended by Joe Planco, gifted and talented. Coordinator. And what was the amount on that? Well, that part of the bill was 300, but then we had homeless liaison two part series attended by Meredith for 200. And the next one that I had was 51183, and that was sources of strength. And that was 5,000, which is covered by the grant, correct? Yes. There's another one coming, you'll see next month for the Richmond Center portion of it for 5,000. And again, covered by the grant. Okay. Yes. Covered by the grant. Okay. Have we been reimbursed for the other? Yep. Okay. Yeah, because that's a dual grade, isn't it, both districts? Yep. We're the whole school. Fiscal agent, yeah. For the reimbursement I was asking about was from the young, yeah. young, young oh, yeah. person. That, that was all figured out, Brooke had it all figured out in the last um, couple of pages. Okay. That was all I had, Steve. Do you have? That was all I had. I, I, and I know we did have another, I did have it down. I we did have another bigger bus bill again, too, for 1659, 51146 to Arneson's. But what was the number of that one? 51146. Yeah, we had like. Bus repair. Yeah, uh, but it's oil, oil change. Install entry door, window, check ABS, install winter tires, engine service, maintenance. It looks to me like that's mostly all maintenance stuff. Tire. We did have some winter tires that were thawed because they were too I would guess that stuff that would have in other years gotten done like in the summer or whatever and just we yeah. can do it then we're doing it now. It's just well and it used to be part of somebody's job to Absolutely. Say, I mean it doesn't really matter as long as it's getting done. Mm -hmm. So yep. and looks like they did one, two, three, three buses there. They did maintenance and stuff. Okay, if not, we'll move on to other financial matters as needed. Is there anything else that needs to be discussed or brought uh, up? We're going to have to sit on Sharon and I and work because by February 3rd, we have to report on all the COVID expenses through July 1, right? Or June 30. All I saw was more reports. Mm -hmm. Yippee! <laughs> Did you say February 3rd? Yeah. And to do then, yeah. Um, so, so after, sound, but a lot of our COVID expenses came in 
after that because we're, we're, we're made a lot of our decisions in like July as mm -hmm. to right. what we were doing. So I'm not sure the exact date, but it's um, quite, a, quite a bit of reporting again. Yeah, and why February 3rd? Like, come on, guys. You know, there's only two people in the business office, and we got 1095s, 1099s, W2s. One hand, the government doesn't always know what the other hand is doing. Yeah. So, well, same thing with DPI, yeah. you know. If we have nothing else, I'll people are accept a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Right.